I first visited Kathmandu in the early 60s. It was a small town then with only two eating houses. Yeah. 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 The place is absolutely falling apart here. There's no effort to make any decent amenities. The Swayambinath Stupa sits atop a hill to the west of Kathmandu. It represents air, fire, earth and water, the four elements. It's convention to circumnambulate Buddhist stupas and chortons in a clockwise direction. When turning prayer wheels, one should murmur the six sacred syllables Om, Ma, Ne, Pad, Me, Om Tibetan incantation. Kathmandu's river, the Bagmati, tends to be a place for locals to dump their rubbish. Snake charmers and local traders can be found on the steps up to the stupa. The Pashupatinath Temple is a famous and sacred Hindu temple complex that is located on the banks of the Bagmati River in Kathmandu. It's an extensive Hindu temple precinct sprawling collection of temples, ashrams, images and inscriptions raised over the centuries. Okay, here we go. Across the little bridge. Very dubious. Rather shitty. That's not the word for it. A balancing job. Bodnath Stupa in Kathmandu is a magnet for Buddhists. The eyes are watching you. You live here in the Pashupati and you pray here on the holy uh, Pashumati, Pashumati River and you spoke uh, marijuana every day for, to make your mind go up and have a good time. Dama, 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 
I was invited into the home of this couple. We have three young novice monks this evening with us who come to see the dancing ladies on the television. <laughs> this is the only way to wash my clothes. Get, the, get in the shower with them on. It's the first day of the trek. Come on your way. No, carry on, please. You're all part of the action. Everybody straining under the load. Gillian, our doctor, looked after the porter's medical needs. Such tough hairs, I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of them actually. Very good, yes. They're quite close to the border now. Unfortunately, quite a storm has brewed up, and uh, as you can hear, the rain is quite heavy. We are going to trek to Everest Base Camp, the Chinese side from where Mallory and Irvin attempted the summit. This is a typical Nepalese village on a small hillside. We were making use of village tracks used by locals to make our way north to the border with Tibet. We carried a portable decompression chamber with us in case anyone suffered from altitude sickness. For centuries, villagers have cut down the trees for fuel. Namaste. It's their only source of fuel. <laughs> well, thank you very much for allowing me to come here to shelter from the rain. Your dog. Hello. Hope tomorrow's going to be a little bit better than this. We go up to the snow line tomorrow. It's uh, what we can see up the hill. It's snowing up there already. White orchids, yeah. Fantastic, huh? It's beautiful, yeah. White orchids? Yeah, it's nice. Very rare. Yeah, this is, yeah. Very nice. Wonderful. Yeah. Some old gompers in the hills. Very, very old, overgrown. Omane Padme Om. Up these rocks. Wonderful bird singing. We are near the top of this pass. Morning of the fifth day. I plan to meet up with Brian Blessed at base camp and I'll ask him about his attempt on the mountain, which will be filmed by the BBC called Galahad of Everest.
Isn't that what we all do? That's right, that's right. Well, we're uh, climatized, we're ready. We just, uh, we've got to make sure the high camps are up before we move. Well, that's and then when the, the top camp is up at 27,300, then we'll move. And we can move. Well, we've been at the coal, we've been at the coal. Oh, fantastic. Both coal, which was a blast to get at this time. It seems to have been steeper, you know, the snow's so it's all. All the best. It's a pleasure. <sighs> On the cliffs above the village of Shagar can be seen the remains of the old fortress. As there is no wood for fuel, yak dung mixed with straw makes do. It can be seen stored on rooftops and walls. Lamas from the monastery were interested in my eagle eyes. So were some local women. Good, eh? Good omen. Can you change me some money? Okay. Oh, it's change rate is eight. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. Do you need my passport? No, no. Okay. Good.
Shigatse is a large town on the way to Lhasa. It has a huge monastery with a large number of monks. Tibetan women wear a yak hair apron coloured with local dyes. Gaetse and the Kumbu. I will go there in five or ten minutes' time. And have, I hope, a wonderful evening. It's the most original town in Tibet. The most Tibetan in nature. Should be absolutely wonderful. The Kumbum, as it's called, is amazing, full of ancient religious relics. Surrounding the town are the hilltop remains of the old citadel.
Back on our way to Lhasa, we took a short break for a loo stop. I saw a young lad running towards us, then his sister came along. That's your delay. Lhasa, the once forbidden city. The Yopong, a hallowed shrine. This is the Holy of Holies, built in 652. I've managed to gain access into the Yopong. Well, here we are in Lhasa. In Lhasa. This is the way to do your washing. All in the bath. The easy way to do your washing. Throw it all in the bath and have a bath at the same time. In the distance, the Patala Palace, once home to the Dalai Lama, who now lives in Dharamsala in India. He escaped when the Chinese army invaded Tibet in 1959. I decided to have a cleaner, so I visited a local barber's and had a bit of fun. Okay, that's me and Sal. That's me. What do you think? Is this good? Now for a stroll in the bar court. Thank you. 
The end of the trip and a flight to Kathmandu. Just arrived from Lhasa. The first thing I'm going to do before anything else is go to the swimming pool. So maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> 